there, my name is Broadheader and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, I'm an archer besides a shooting instructor and I also have a crossbow thanks to arvaleta.ro, uh, the website. You'll find it in the description below. So, today I wanted to test out if a crossbow bolt or a crossbow arrow, uh, as some may understand it, uh, is in any way compatible with a bow, a normal bow arrow or archery arrow. So, first of all, let's check out the outside. So, first of all, we can see that the crossbow bolt is, uh, uh, at least the one I'm holding, is a lot shorter than an archery arrow. So, over here, my archery arrow is a Savage Skylon uh, with a 400, um, 400, 400 spin. So this is about 80 something centimeters long or 31, 30 or 31 inches long. And the crossbow bolt is 20 inches long. This is from Maxonia Maximal. So the crossbow bolt is a lot shorter than the arrow. Uh, first of all, second of all, this crossbow bolt or crossbow arrow is much thicker than the archery arrow, the normal archery archery arrow. So let me show you just how thick it is. If I can manage to find a spot. You see? So it's a lot thicker. Again, I'm showing off the the crossbow bolt that I have. Okay. So this one. I don't know, they might be even uh, even thinner than this one. I don't know I don't know for sure. But don't um, don't get ha don't get any happy because in archery we also have thicker arrows so this is a 9.2 or 9.3 millimeter thick um, arrow this is used in competition so uh, if we compare the two of the two we'll actually see that they're, they're really about the same thickness sorry i don't i can't manage to get the, the light right don't know if you can see anything so sorry this is the crossbow bolt and this is the competition arrow so i haven't measured them but it but it seems like they are just about the same thickness the same in, outer diameter Third of all, the fletching, the veins. So the arrow bolt, the crossbow bolt has, at least this one that I'm holding, has longer fletching, longer veins, compared to the normal arrow, the normal archery arrow. So these are blazer veins, these are two inch blazer veins. My crossbow bolt has about four inch veins so if we compare the two of them we can actually figure out that uh, the crossbow bolt veins are actually twice as long as the archery ones number four the knock if we look closely to the uh, to the uh, crossbow bolt we'll see a different shape of knock so it's not the same kind of knock you'll find in normal arrows like this one this one and sorry i really need to get the light right okay so in this bulge little, uh, little bulge over here is the place where the uh, the bowstring has to go you can't actually shoot a crossbow bolt with this kind of knock using a bow doesn't fit so in a crossbow the string only fits fit slightly fits the knock so it doesn't go inside the knock all the way 
uh, that it doesn't go all the way inside the knot, like in the case of the uh, the natural of the normal arrow, like in in the case of archery. Number five, let's say it's the point. So my crossbow bolt comes in with a fill tip point. Okay, so this is your regular fill tip. Oh, sorry for the defocus. So this fill tip, this crossbow bolt fill tip, feels a lot stronger and I reckon it's made out of a stronger metal, possibly steel, I don't know, uh, compared to the normal archery fill tip. Okay, so the shiny, the shiny, uh, shiny fill tip in my hand is the crossbow, uh, the crossbow bolt tip and the darker one is the one used in archery, normal arrows. So, judging from my experience, every time I manage to hit a little rock with my arrow, the fill tip uh, was uh, the fill tips were damaged. I haven't managed to hit enough rocks with uh, the crossbow ball tips to say the same th same thing. But judging only judging by uh, the way it feels and the weight it has i reckon it's a lot a lot stronger so what i want to know is can you fit any other type of uh, of arrow tip on a crossbow bolt so for that reason i got some little uh, a couple of uh, arrow tips so this over here is a three bladed little uh, broadhead and i'll I'm curious. Well, it does fit. Well, it fits perfectly. So it has a natural line over here, where uh, where the broadhead meets uh, the the bolt. Sorry. So over here, there's actually no no bulge. I cannot feel. It's very linear. So broadhead number one is a go. Okay, let's try out a bigger broadhead. Hopefully, I won't unscrew the uh, the blades. And this one, oh, this one fits even better. Cool. How cool does that look? <laughs> let's try out a normal field tip. Let's see if this one fits. Okay, this one fits as well, but there's a there's a difference over here this uh, this normal archery fill tip is a lot thinner than um, the, the crossbow ball tip and you can feel the difference in size be, uh, between the fill tip and the uh, the bolt or the arrow so regarding fitting yes this is this is a go also regarding uh, the way it feels nah I'll pass and it's time for the whistling arrow tip this is how they look sorry this is a, a whistling tip <laughs> it has these two little uh, holes in front of here where the air comes in and uh, I had that I actually had to pile down uh, in the front uh, near the tip to help the air flow smoothly inside and due to the fact that the bottom of the whistling tip is actually flat uh, the wind actually makes a sound like a whistling sound that's why they're called whistling arrow tips they do make a really line a really cool sound when you shoot them i'll add in the description a video when i where i actually shot some whistling uh, arrow tips and trust me it's amazing okay let's try out uh, a small a very small broad hat well this is also small and short it has a very short screw let's say well it does fit so it's a go it's also a go uh i if i were to choose between that one and a lot and many others i wouldn't choose that one I'll make it a pass. So this is a two-bladed broadhead. Let's see if this one fits. And yes, it fits. Or it also fits. Whoa! And this one comes in 
with something really really cool so it has uh, the, sh the, sh the shape of the broad head is somewhat somehow uh, sh kind of sharpening over here it's like a cone you see so the line over here is very smooth so uh, the the arrow it, it gives you the, the, the impression that the arrow is actually thinning it's getting uh, sharper and sharper so this is how cool the two bladed broad head is so well now, I, well, I was looking at it and I actually thought that uh, the arrow, the bolt having three, three veins, uh, they were somehow aligned, but no, they're not aligned with the broad head. Okay, so this is a go. Also, uh, it has a longer screw, which is a, a, a big plus. And let's try out a stomping field tip, a stomping tip, sorry and this one also fits so judging by the the, the shape of the, of the stomping tip i'm not actually going to say anything regarding the compatibility compatibility with the sh the, the shaft with the uh, the bolt the stomping tip doesn't have any sort of lines to make it look very nice and neat but in the end all of my arrow tips were a go regarding com the compatibility with the crossbow bolt so in the end i just want to say that it seems like any kind of archery arrow tip is compatible oh, sorry. every sorry again so it seems like every kind of any kind of arrow tip is both compatible with the archery the, no the normal uh, archery arrow and the crossbow bolt so or the crossbow arrow so if you want to buy uh, some broad heads you don't have to, uh, to make the specification that is to specify that you see i need it for my crossbow bolts or i need it for my arrow for my uh, archery arrows no they they fit they all fit inside both kinds of arrows so there you go folks, thank you for joining me, I hope you liked the video and I hope it was useful to you. So until next time, I'm Brad Heather, thank you very much and God bless, goodbye.